Okay, so what are you saying people and welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel. So today guys, I've got another trade breakdown video for you, this time on USD CAD on the long position that I had this week. We'll go through the entirety of the trade, the analysis before, my entry, stop loss, take profit, how I manage the trade, and just a complete reflection on the trade looking back. So if you are enjoying the content, guys, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, so welcome to the charts. This is USD CAD, dollar CAD on the full H time frame. And like I said, I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I went about to take this long position. So. My main time frame, my bread and butter is the 4 weeks time frame. That's why I'm looking for setups, looking for confluences, looking for levels to buy and sell from. But I do still scale to the higher time frames daily, weekly, sometimes monthly as well, just to see the overall trend, the overall picture of what the market is doing. So what I'm looking at here on the daily time frame is more or less consolidation. The market isn't really going anywhere. We're seeing equal highs, equal lows. Overall, the market is moving sideways. Now, if I scale to the weekly, I can see there's still an uptrend at play here. The market, since uh, creating this low here at uh, May 2021, we've been creating higher highs and higher lows since then. Now we're kind of in this weird pause phase where the market could be looking at reversing, or maybe it just could be the market building up again, getting ready for a big explosion to the upside. You know, consolidation with 50-50 either way but looking at the wicks in a bit more detail we can see the market is still slightly creating these higher lows here so i do have a bullish bias overall for usd cad despite the consolidation we have on the daily time frame so the two the two thing the two main things i've derived from the higher time frames is when consolidation be careful make sure you're not directly buying to areas of support and resistance and make sure you take your profit you know at suitable areas because more than not we're going to reject key levels and number two, there's an overall uptrend at play here. So I want to be favoring buys and see if I can get some good buy opportunities and maybe catch that next bullish wave from a higher time frame perspective. So those are the two things I'm taking from the higher time frame into the full H, which is where I'm actually looking for setup. So let me actually use the replay tool so we can actually see what I saw at the time. So this is what I saw for uh, for use the CAD in the full H time frame. Now I'm only really looking at this much price action when I'm looking to trade. I'm not really you know, scrolling back looking um, you know, all this price action here, I'll leave that to the higher time frames. When I'm actually looking to trade, I'm looking at the setups, I'm looking at, um, at, at the structure, this is kind of all the price action that I'm taking in. So here for USD CAD, I can see mainly sideways price action still similar to the daily chart. But if I focus on this price action here, I can see there is a bit of a bullish setup at play. Some bullish structure is starting to creep into the market and we're also seeing some really good impulse moves as well. So I'm liking this structure here for, for USD CAD. And I'm thinking from a high time frame perspective, this could be the start of possibly that next bullish wave on the higher time frames and maybe a breakout higher. Again, this is definitely a maybe, potentially the market's got resistance on the left. It you know 100% needs to clear that before we even consider that this bullish market, that this bullish setup here is gonna really continue. But I can still take advantage of buys in the meantime and see if I can catch the breakout before it's actually had uh, had the breakout essentially so now i'm looking for setup so i've got my directional bias to the upside i've got some really nice healthy bullish structure here on the full h time frame i got a key level i need to watch out from and i've got the possibility that if we catch the breakout we could be onto a really nice winning trade so now i'm looking for the setup i'm looking at my confluences how am i actually going to enter this position because it's one thing to get the directional bias and get your analysis in order then it's a completely different thing to actually look to buy and sell the market at good areas so now I'm looking for the setup. I can see we have a really nice high here, which the market broke through with this impulsive move. Didn't get the retest. So that's a very, very key point there. We didn't get the retest. So if the market come back and retest this level, we know that we probably get a good bounce if we see some good rejection. So 1.356 is my area of interest for longs. And I'm also looking at this trend line here. As you can see, the market respected it very, very well with these higher lows. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm looking to see if we can get a six one into this area and a push back to the highs there on the left and then possibly a break higher. And I'm also looking at this resistance here on the daily chart as the next main target to aim for. So this is gonna be my initial resistance to target for my first DP. Then I'll look at pushing the trade into this high and then if things look really really good i might leave 10 percent 20 percent to run you know back to the highs here at 1.39 if we are going to see that next bullish wave to the upside so that's my kind of thought process in terms of targets management going into the trade so now i'm just looking for entries and uh, a good kind of rejection to 
suggest that I should be looking to enter and that the market is actually rejecting this area. So let me just clean up the chart real quick. So now I'm just waiting for a good pullback. I'm waiting at price, waiting, watching price action here. As you can see, we're steadily falling to the downside. It's quite corrective compared to this impulsive leg. So this tells me that this is most likely retracement. So from a you know retracement perspective, things are looking good. I'm just hoping that we can get to that level. Market's still moving sideways, and then we start tapping into this area. So now I'm looking for entries, but I remember this first candle here happened during the Asian session, and at that time I'm sleeping. Obviously here in the UK, when the Asian session is up and running, it's kind of you know midnight to like four or five a.m. So I'm asleep during those times, so I'm not looking at the market. So we did have a really nice initial rejection here, but again, I'm not looking to enter. As you can see uh, on the clock there, it says 2, 3 a.m. I'm not looking for my entries at that time. So sometimes I do miss trades like that. Sometimes the market tags my areas and then starts you know starts flying the opposite direction. Um, and that's just you know trades that, are, that I won't be able to take advantage of. And that's just uh, a reality I have to accept. But luckily for me, USDCAD just moves sideways pretty much. So I woke up around here-ish. So what's the time here? So yeah, so 7, 8 a.m. So this, this is the time I'm waking up, looking at the charts for London session, and the market's kind of just moving sideways. I'm looking to see if we can double bottom into this level, get another rejection, and then possibly get the move to the upside. So again, if I get, actually, maybe just stay on the one hour time frame. So again, you can see we did wick into this level, nice wicks down there on the hourly, but more importantly, we're getting some good wicks in the 4H. If you haven't watched my video about powerful entry techniques, powerful, powerful entry pattern, I'll put a link in the description to that, but it talks about how we can utilize two time frames, one to see wicks and rejection, and one for momentum, and that's precisely what I used for the entry of this trade. So as you can see, really healthy wicks into this area of confluence, drop to the hourly time frame, lovely bullish engulfing, sort of like a hammer candle as well, from nice wick there to the downside. My entry was um, on that candle closure, stop loss below the zone, few pits for wiggle room, just in case we wick back down again. And then like I said, first target was a move essentially back into the resistance here, coming back into this area. So that was the first target. Let me just put that a little brighter so you can actually see what's going on. There we go. So yeah, the first target was a push back into this area here at 1.365. I knew that we can possibly see the breakout and tag into this area and clear the heights here and grab liquidity above that level. So this was my second TP for the trade. And then again, I was telling people in my stream as well that I was looking to hold potentially back to the highs. If I start seeing some good momentum like this, the upside and higher time frames, I'll try and stretch the trade a little bit further, but I'll only be having like 10%, maybe 20% running at the time. So most of my profit will be taking at these two levels here. Because again, the market's consolidating. I'm not trying to hit the home run. If the home run is there, then you know, lucky me. But my main priority is to take my profit out of these areas because again, the market's consolidating. And if I can catch the possibility of a breakout, then that's just a, a bonus, an added bonus. So as I hop into the trade, now I'm just sitting back, seeing what happens. I'm setting alerts at this level here, because this is my first TP, and that'll be my second TP there. So as you can see, if I drop back to the hourly time frame, we had some nice momentum in my direction already. Mark was moving a little bit sideways. Then we had some really good momentum uh, during the Asian session. So I woke up, price was trading up around here, very, very close to my level. I mean, just about tag my level. So this is where I take some partials, close 20% and move my stop loss to break even. So now there's no risk on the table and I'm looking to see if we can get pushed to my second TP, where I'll probably close about you know, 50% more, um, 50, 60% more and see how things look around that area. And as you can see, we had a hefty rejection. Some news came in for dollar and CAD and the market came right back down and stopped me out at break even. And that was that for the trade. Managed happily as well, because again, the market is consolidating on the higher time frames. That was one of the two things we derived from the higher time frames. We've got a higher time frame uptrend, but more importantly, we're currently in consolidation. So we have to be careful at resistance. Market is more likely going to reject resistance in a market moving sideways than if it's you know flying to the upside in the higher time frames. But most likely we'll see breakouts in those conditions. So I have to be careful trading to these levels of resistance. So I moved my stop loss to break even, took my partials there. And as you can see, the market dumped and took me out of the trade. And then fast forward to current price action. As you can see, we've actually just broken straight through that level completely. And now we're seeing another bearish leg here. So we're getting a continuation of that consolidation. So I'm going to see what happens with NFP, see how this um, daily candle closes and the weekly candle closes. 
then I'll start making moves and seeing what could happen next. I'm not really keen to look into sell. As you can see, we're still making these higher lows here on the daily chart. So I don't really want to be selling into this area. If the market starts rejecting this area again, starts pushing up, creating some more bullish structure like we did over here again, then I'm just going to repeat what I did over here. Try and hop another pullback, see if you can catch the move to the upside. If the market starts clearing out these lows, breaking through, then I'll just look for the reversal, retest the structure. Let's catch some nice sales for the reversal. So being able to pivot, you know, having no kind of uh, egotistical bias or of where I expect the market to go, very, very fluid. You know, if the market wants to go down, I'll sell it. If the market wants to go up, I will buy it. But yeah, guys, that's kind of the recap of the trade um, as a whole from the entry, the stop loss, take profit, the management, the reason why I took the trade and, and the confidences that I used. And now I'm just going to keep an eye on you to catch, see how it develops. I so will do obviously analysis on the weekend. So make sure you're there to catch it. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have found it useful, please sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below, but have a fantastic day guys. And I'll catch you all in the next one.